Rock Hellraiser Pete Doherty reviews the new Jag. Do you know what? I'm quite an old fashioned sort of fella. But first. A true British eccentric with a history of getting into trouble and a reputation for excessive consumption. No, not Pete Doherty. Jaguar. No wonder this is the car of choice for Pete Doherty, the hell-raising, fast-living frontman with the rock band Baby Shambles. He loves Jags so much, he's had eight of them, though he's never had one like this. This is the new Jaguar XK, heir to the legendary E-Type. Like Pete, it's got a rock star's good looks, sounds great when it can be bothered, and packs a 4.2-litre V8 engine that can take it from 0 to 60 in 5.9 seconds. But will this be enough to get a die-hard Jag addict's pulse racing? I'm off to Pete Doherty's East End Gap to see if he'll help me test drive it. Well, I think I've found the place. It's either John Prescott's or Pete Doherty's, a fleet of second-hand rotting Jaguars. It's got to be Pete's. Let's see if he's in. Pete, if you're there, I've got this new XK8 to show you. Pete, you'll love this car, you really will. He's not in. Failure. I won't be beaten that easily, though. I think I'll pay a visit to the man who has been responsible for feeding Pete's habit. So I'm off now to see Pete's favourite dealer of Jaguars. He says he's bought as many as eight of him in the last eight weeks. So what is it like selling to Pete Doherty? Pete comes in like a hurricane. Comes in, he runs around, spots a car that takes his fancy, that one. How much? I give him a price, he pays and he's gone. Literally, it's as fast as that. You've got about four and a half minutes in which to sell this guy a car. He must be brilliant for business. He's excellent. <laughs> I'd like ten of him. I could live the whole year on that. <laughs> but, I mean, why does he need so many? He keeps losing them. <laughs> uh, exactly. It's exactly what happens. Either they get towed away from the council because he's lost the keys, can't move the car. Within four or five days, he's forgotten he even owned it. But what about our new XK? Its sleek simplicity is a far cry from the woody, interior classic Jags of yore. Will it still ring our music man's bell? He's got to like the car. He's a Jaguar, he likes a Jag. Uh, he, his arc still, uh, you know, hampers towards the old ones. Um, but he also realises that he needs a car that's going to go bang every time. Yeah. You know? And well, if Baby works. Shambles make it big, perhaps he'll be in here getting one second hand from you. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> or two. So the informed view is that this new XK and Pete Doherty are made for each other. All I need to do now is find him. Pete's proving to be just a little bit more elusive than I thought, so I've come to the streets of East London to see if anyone's seen him, armed, of course, with my picture of him. I'm looking for Pete Doherty. Looks like that. You've not seen him around, have you? No, I haven't. No? All right, thanks anyway. You've not seen him around, have you? Oh, I haven't, no. No? No, no not seen him. No. Sorry. Right. Oh, I haven't seen him. You're not right. OK, thanks. It's clear Pete's gone to ground, but it's also clear there's no one in London who loves Jags as much as he does. I've got to find him and get him in this car. My quest continues, desperately seeking Doherty later on in the show. She's out. This is the new Jaguar XK. And this is rock and roll icon Pete Doherty, who just happens to be Jaguar mad. I want to take Pete for a spin in the XK to see what he makes of it. Will he love this new Jag as much as the eight classics he already owns? Now, I haven't managed to pick up Pete, but I have managed to pick up a ticket for a baby shambles gig in Plymouth tonight. So that's where we're heading. Whilst Plymouth may be a tad further than I'd planned to go, it does give me the chance to stretch the XK's legs a little. Its body is now made of aluminium, one of Pete Doherty's favourite metals, making it much lighter, much faster and more economical than its predecessor. Where the old XK gave you 22 to the gallon, you'll now get a whopping 25. As I arrive in Plymouth, it's not hard to work out where Pete's playing. Look, there's a Jag. And where there's a Jag, there's Pete Doherty. Here goes. Pete, I've got a Jag to show you. I want to show you the new XK8. So, honestly, Yay! it's gorgeous. 
Looks like I've got his attention. Do you want to come and see the XK? I'll take you for a test drive. Yeah, I'll put down a little bit. Thank I've got you so much. Thank you. Yeah, like a concert. I'd better just make sure he doesn't forget what's waiting for him. But Pete blanks me for some reason, and after the gig, goes off back to London with the car still waiting to be tested. Next day, Pete's behind bars. But luckily for me, they're just the ones outside his house. Pete, how are you? Brendan, vroom, vroom. We spoke the other night at your gig. Listen, yes. I've got this Jag I want to show you. The new oh, XK8, yeah. yeah. It's, right. it's a wicked... If you're a Jag lover, you, you'll be mad for it. Do you know what, I'm, I quite like the old-fashioned ones, though. Like. You don't like it? I like it, yeah. It's a lovely car, though. How much is it? 59 grand. Yeah. But you'd get a discount. That's obscene. You've got the right image for Jag. Yeah. Now, I'll be honest with you, it's a lovely car. I do like the old ones, though. So, Pete's finally up for a test drive. You're looking good, man. You're looking good. Don't worry. And, of course, the car's got to look the part, too. So, I'll take you for a spin. Let's see what you think. All right. 59 grand's worth. Yeah. Is that the kind of money you spend on your Jags? <laughs> Not yet. Uh, do you know what? Um, all the Jags I've got, I think the total price is about 11 grand. What is it about Jags that you like, and does this tick the boxes for you? Do you know what? I'm quite an old-fashioned sort of fella. Not just old-fashioned, it's the simple things Pete looks for. Little hiding places. No, is that noise? Little cubby holes. These little things you can pull out and put back. Like this, no, this, this will probably come out. Like, yeah, like, that does come out, yeah. So you'd be, able to, you'd be able to stash some coins down there. What about power and going fast? You're not like, bothered about that? In the past, those, those jags have served as well. We've had to get away quick, like escaping the paparazzi. What about for pulling chips? Once, I think, I've come back to the car and uh, there was a girl asleep on, on the bonnet. So obviously, they've got some comfort there. You pulled while you weren't even in your jag? Yeah. Well, that, that oh. makes me want to go out and buy a Jag. So, let's see how Pete rated the new Jaguar XK. Looks, good. Price, a bit dear. Power, more than enough. And cubby holes, plenty. So, is this XK the Jaguar for Pete? Shinier, isn't it? And newer and flashier, faster, more reliable, and all in all, a better car. But I'd still take a cranky old XK, yeah, definitely. Thanks, Pete. And if the police ever give you your licence back, next time we might even let you drive. <laughs>